Hey, this is Taylor. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about this tool I've created for you. Um, it's, it's an assignment one testing tool is what I call it. And essentially what, it's, what it does is it scans through your code and it looks for any errors that you have in your assignment one. And it looks for things like, have you marked all your fields private? Um, have you named your fields correctly? And it also kind of looks for uh, simple mistakes that lots of students make uh, that lose the marks. So the idea behind it, hopefully, is that you run it and you know exactly what you're going to get because it's going to tell you everything that you've done wrong. Um, now, as a note to that, just because it says that you've done something 100% correct doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get that 100%. Uh, I tried to make this as accurate as possible, but there might be a couple things that still slip through. So don't just go on this tool. Look through your assignment one sheet that Jason and I gave you and, and follow that as well. Um, between the two, hopefully you should get 100% in this first assignment. So what I'm going to do uh, in this video is first I'm going to explain to you how you can uh, uh, set up BlueJ to run this tool. Uh, then I'm going to show you how you add this tool to your uh, assignment one project. Uh, third, I'm going to show you how you run the tool. And then lastly, I'm going to explain to you uh, how you can interpret the results and fix your errors. All right, hopefully you find this video useful. Okay, so Step one of, uh, of setting up the tools is you have your uh, Lamborghini project right here, as you can see in BlueJ. So what I want to do is you're going to go Tools, Preferences, click Preferences, and then you, it's going to start an editor. editor. So then you're going to go to Interface. All right. And then show unit testing tool. See this first one, show unit testing tool. Check, make sure that box is checked. And click OK. That's all you need to do to set up BlueJ. It's very easy. OK, so step two of setting this up is you need to add the testing tool to your project. So how we're going to do that is you go to the share drive. Um, note that if you don't have the share drive mapped, uh, if you haven't set up the share in, share out on your own computer yet, uh, you're going to need to do that. I'm not going to explain how to do that in this tutorial, um, but in one of the handouts Jason Jason gave explains how you can uh, how you can set this up. So if you have to do that, pause and, and go set that up and come back. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to out, find the course, it's out, comp, um, comp. 1409 Jason assignments assignment one and there we go Lamborghini test dot Java that's all you need okay so then in another window find where your assignment is uh, is saved where the where the project is saved so for me it's 1409 spring 2013 assignment one uh, demo so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, just drag this in, copy, and click OK. It's not harmful, I promise. Perfect. So now that it's in there, if you have BlueJ open, you're going to have to close it and reopen it. So you close, and then reopen that package.bluej file. Just double click. I should open back up. If it doesn't do it this way, just open up BlueJ how you ever, however you normally open it. Um, and you see now the Lamborghini test is added. Perfect. So if we click compile, perfect. Now it's fully added. And you'll know it's added because you see here there's the annotation, uh, uh, it's bracket, bracket, unit test, bracket, bracket, and it's green. If that, if that, if that works, then you know that you've, uh, that you've added it correctly. Uh, if you don't see this, you have, uh, you have something you haven't set up set it up properly so go back to the beginning of the video and follow how to uh, set up BlueJ properly so luckily running this tool in BlueJ is incredibly easy like incredibly easy all you have to do is see uh, you, you right click Lamborghini test so you right click and you click test all make it bigger see it runs all the tests that I've created that's it so you see here, the project I have created is uh, is works perfectly. 
so you'll see a, a green a green bar but as I'll show you in a second if something is wrong you won't so that's how you run all the tests now if you wanted to write run one individually say you're getting one wrong uh, constantly you could just call that test here yeah. okay so now let's run it when uh, when you haven't done things correctly so I'm gonna click right click test all oh look so I have a red bar now Make it pass green. so that means I failed something I failed two tests here so if I click the test that I failed and you can see that's the test that you failed because there's an X instead of a check mark so if you click it and uh, look at the test name test fields have correct modifiers so that means I failed the test that tests for the correct modifiers and a modifier is like is the is the variable private public static final any of that so this is testing to make sure that they're all correct and so if I look here uh, on this first line it basically tells it all so it says the field the field model name wasn't private and you will lose a mark for it you don't have to worry about the rest of this stuff for this one so that means that you haven't made it private and if you see here for this one horsepower so horsepower does not accept a valid input value of 300 so that means uh, and if you look the test name is test constructor sets fields correctly so basically this means that it's not setting the one of your fields correctly and that means that it's um, not accepting a value of 300 so if you try it yourself and enter it you'll see that it's not working and that you need to fix that and you will actually lose two marks for that on your assignment okay so let's fix an error uh, that you have in your assignment so I'm gonna pick test fields have correct modifiers so let's fix this one field model name is not private um, so I'm gonna open up Lamborghini and you see here a mo string model name I've, I've blanked everything else out because I don't want to give you give away too much of the assignment string model name oh look it's not private so Now we close, compile. After you make changes, you always have to compile here because you'll have to recompile my test program as well. So right click, test all. Oh, look, it still failed, but the uh, but the message is different. So that means it's passed the last one. Uh, with my program, it's always only going to show you uh, the first error in the test. Sometimes my my test method will, will test multiple things at the same time. So you have to fix the first thing before moving on to the second thing. Um, so now it's saying field must be named exactly model year. So let's check back in the Lamborghini and fix that second issue. So I'm going to open it up. Oh look. It says it's expecting model year like this. But I have an underscore. That's not right. It should be model year so this is exactly what it's expecting and if you see it in quotes field must be exactly must be named exactly model year if you have model underscore year year of model anything like that no that's wrong it has to be model year so you fix that so that's fixed and I'm going to recompile test oh look it failed again see field manufacturer what is not marked constant so that means that it's not a constant variable it's not final so let's go in final close compile right click test all hey look at that Test fields have correct modifiers is passed. That means that 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 section is now is now complete. But I still have to fix this. So I'm not going to fix this. I'm going to let you guys go and uh, and work on it now. Actually, before I let you go, I wanted to highlight one more thing for you. So 
one one error you may see and you may kind of scratch your head about uh, if you test all is something like with print lines or anything to do with printing or anything to do with strings. So remember in the assignment it says the strings have to be exactly um, what he, what what we want it to be. So for example, if you see something like constructor does not output the correct error string when an empty string is passed into the model name. So think about that for a second. That means it's not printing. It has to print out something um, if you pass in an empty string. That it says on the on the bottom of the second page it has to print out something, but it's not printing it out exactly the way we want it. So with something like this, you're actually going to need to look at the next line, and then you'll see it expected not provided sorry and whatever it was before that, but it actually got not provided sorry, and you see the difference is whatever's in the square brackets here. So you see there's a period, which means it was expecting not provided sorry, but you gave it not provided sorry with a period at the end, and that's wrong. So if we open it up, see, the system out print line, a model name was not provided, sorry. So if I get rid of the period here, close, recompile, test, there we go, that fixed it. So you may get you may get some of that. Remember, the strings have to match exactly what we tell you to. Uh, no changes whatsoever. All right. Um, so good luck running it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I would like you enc to encourage uh, working with one another and fixing the errors uh, instead of emailing me directly because I don't want to. I don't want to interpret all the results for you. I want you to interpret the results yourself. But if something is really scratching your head or you think that. Um, there is an error somewhere in my testing tool. Uh, feel free to send me an email. I think most of you guys have it by now, but it's taylor.t.dixon at gmail.com. All right. Uh, good luck with the tool.